already, though. What is up, guys? Deport here from Deport Gaming. Game three. Sweet and say so here. Dual casting with Thundus. How's it going, Thundus? Pretty good. Been a pretty good series so far. Yeah, tied up. 1 1. Pretty back and forth series just far. And Cherry on top here. Game three, Amazonia. Pretty even undead orc map. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, compared to other maps, it's pretty even, but like I was telling you earlier, there's there's a lot of spots Blademaster can get some pretty good items. There's the two Berserkers in the middle. A lot of times Orcs will snipe the Renegade Wizards and hope for like Boots of Quel'Thalas or Vampire, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It does give the opportunity though, to, uh, DK, you can do the fast DK here in Amazonia um, with the small trolls there. Uh, you can get the, uh, the quick rod, kill a uh, quick uh, frog or something and get a decent start there. And it looks like he's doing just that. Bro, you don't know how happy I get when I actually theory craft and get it right, because it doesn't happen that often. I'm freaking ecstatic right now. <laughs> Void Master's a choice for sweet. Once again, no surprise. And we do have the Ted Fiends here for say so. Finally yes. changing it up on game three. Now what undead players used to do with Ted Fiends would be go off, you know, try to snipe creeps with coils and stuff, but a lot of, currently, a lot of undead players have just been doing, like, these skeleton creeps where they'll get, like, four skeletons and creep out an orange camp. I know 120 and uh, WFC do that quite a bit. Definitely a nice perk here on Amazonia. If I remember right, there's a critter in front of the trees by the gold mine up here. And then there's another one by the tavern. If he does go for a skeleton creep. Looks like Sweet got to go for the Renegade Wizard first. Grab the item. And then most likely go for some trolls in Orange Troll Camp. Maybe grab the Sword Blood as well. He... Okay, looks like he's going for the skeleton snipe of the Berserker. And that's going to be pretty nice because he's doing it on Sweet's half of the map. Sweet's occupied over here, so he shouldn't be over there in time. Should be getting that pretty easily. And he's actually gonna clean up the whole goblin lab here. Got the gloves of haste. Mantle. And compared to the delayed hero build, as you can see, the techs are actually a lot more even. And that's a pretty quick tech there for the orc, so undead able to keep up in that department. Very delayed fiend though, right? Yes. Um this build is really bad if the orc wants to be super freaking aggressive. <laughs> Do you see Sweet spotting out the Demon Hunter? Gonna get a nice critical strike windwalk there. Yeah, I'm surprised the Demon Hunter didn't mana burn him. Or DK coil. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Seiso got an early backpack. Interesting. A player's mm. forces are under attack. He did. I wonder what is. I wonder what's going through his mind right now. Right now, it's probably I don't want to lose my death knight. <laughs> yeah, he's taking quite a bit of damage there, but he's still not giving up on this camp. Not too concerned about the blade nearby. Yeah. I'm surprised he went for the green. He could have tried pulling the um the laboratory camps onto the blight. He did get level 2, actually, Blade Master. Oh, did the Grunt last hit something? He must have. I didn't see that. He either got the Small Priest or a Skeleton. Alright, Seiso trying to pull the crease back. There's a new Rubian Tower to slow him down. But Sweet's hanging around. He's going to backstab on the Death Knight again. Doesn't need to be too concerned. He's got a couple Windwalks left. But yeah, DK, he's pretty lone. Only has that Blight Ground to heal him. No Unholy Aura just yet. He needs a level 2. He does. That that Grunk in the last hit actually really screwed over Seiso. Yeah, the Critical Strike Edition, really nice. Tech here, Stronghold, almost complete. Same with Halls of Dead. Seiso does not have that much gold, though, so his Lich is going to be a little bit behind. Oh, the Mist Coil, but he actually gets it with the Fiend Shot. Oh, that was lucky. Still, though, DK in some trouble. Kind of surrounded himself. He did surround himself. Blade Master's still whacking him. 
And a nice oh critical God. strike, and he's getting low. And a nice block, though. DK is in some trouble. Oh, no. Oh there's no God. speed score. Oh, he does have speed score. Here we go. Let's see. He's going to get the he DK. Needs, he needs to get in the range of the shop or something. Oh, Blade Master getting very low. He doesn't have a town portal. And DK bought a potion, but whew, are under attack. DK, I mean, Blade Master got pretty close there. Say so actually spam clicking the potion box. He picked up two. That's 300 gold. This lich is going to be really delayed. Decrypt. Well, actually, not too much. Shadow Hunter, second choice again. And Beast Jury as well. Sweet going for the same strategy once again. Normal yeah, what can you s yeah, what can you say? It's just the standard. Players forces are uh, attacked. with games as old as Warcraft 3, a lot of the players are robots. Like me, I'll be, I'll be honest. I pretty much do the same two builds depending on the race. <laughs> If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, let's see here, though. Dangerous game here. He's got a Shadow Hunter out with Hex now. DK is three, though. But here we go. First Fiend. Under Siege. And most likely we'll lose gonna... it. Could, or invest a lot of coils to save it. Second Hex going off. DK's got two more coils. Uh, Shadow Hunter's got about two Hexes. Oh, he missed oh, coil. the miss click! <laughs> he coiled the grunt. <laughs> well, that hurts oh. him. Players' forces are under attack. Oh, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> Sweet's not complaining. <laughs> Meanwhile, tier three slaughterhouse coming in, but his tier three actually got really delayed. You know, forcing to buy potions and stuff. As you can see, Sweets Tier 3 is just now finishing as Seiso's just started. DK close to his 3 and some more avoiding creeping trying to go out here for Seiso. Not going to find much. But does have his Lich now with the Frost Armor. Should be lots easier to fend off this blade. A player's forces He's are going attacked. for the Renegade. Is Seiso going to be fortunate enough and get the true shot or what do you think? Uh, probably not. Let's see. Strength. Ah, belt. And nice boost in health for the Death Knight. He's usually the one that gets focused, so it's always nice to have a little more health on him. And a Sobe Mask on the opposite side of the map here for the Shadow Hunter. More heal waves, more hexes. Can't go wrong with extra regen. Now, Void Master at the level three, gonna be able to get a lot of additional scouting now. And it looks like we'll be able to find Seiso here. A player's forces are <laughs> Seiso still creeping with his Death Knight, stealing experience from the Lich. I don't know if I agree with that. He needs three three. Not four two. We just missed the Dawson Blade Master. He didn't get the critical. Um, excuse me, the creep check though. Just missed it. The animation even went off, but it didn't connect. Mm. Timings. Meanwhile, Sweet picking up the Orb of Lightning on his blade. Purge City should be starting anytime soon, and that's level three on his S Age. Now we. I've said this almost every game this series. Everything's looking good for Sweet. Seiso's behind. But, you know, after last game, I don't even know anymore. Like, he might just pull another win out of nowhere. Yeah. He definitely has the, uh, or Seiso, not, not too worried about being in this situation, I would say. Um, but let's see. Sweet, he went for the Torn Chief in game one. Pulled off the win there. Didn't go for the third hero in game two. Let's see if he's going to change. Did he go for Tiny Great Hall? He did it again. Same exact strategy. And he's getting pillaged, which makes me wonder if Sweet's going to be doing some raider run buys later on. That too. That's going to be interesting. And there we go. It's going down. He's got the peons nearby as well. Say so is nearby. Yeah, let's see. He's got some decent timing here. He doesn't have his pit lord, though. Boy, Wait, did Sweet not go him. TC? He didn't go TC. No, he what didn't. What the hell? That must be his playstyle. He must not like Triple Hero Orc. I guess. <laughs> Say so looking oh. for his third hero, but statue. Taking some right. Maybe, 
Maybe I was right with the theory. Maybe Sweet just doesn't want to get a TC if he can't get him leveled, because he got the TC on Twisted. Hold on. Blade Master. Should be okay. Took quite a bit of nuke there, and that's only a Lich level 2. He's got his pit right now. Mind, I guess in Sweet's mind, it's better just to go double hero than have a low TC. Then again, TC, if he's not decently leveled, he might just get nuked down a lot. That is true. It's a risk you have to play, though, but if you can get the TC involved, though, it makes an incredible impact with the stomp. And DK, you actually get a scout out the Tiny Great Hall. Once again, Temple for Say So and Add Up on the way, but we got a fight here. Yeah, Raider, First Raider going to go down. Snagged. Let's see, does Sweet want to fight this? It doesn't look like he will. He's got a speed score out and head home. Maybe not? Oh, oh, oh I don't know what he's doing. Goal's being pulled again. Say so might be really committing to this push on the expo. It's yeah. 47 supply versus 48. Neither player in upkeep. Sweet wants to go for that trade. He knows he can't take the fight right now, so he wants to go for the base trade, and he's definitely correct in that reasoning. He's getting sappers, maybe. A player's forces are under attack. Maybe. Come on, it's Amazonia. You know he's getting zappers. <laughs> yeah, he's got one, and that should be sufficient. Here we go. He's gonna go one, go for the two zigs and supply cap say so, and probably focus the Black Citadel with the Raiders. Ooh, I love it when I'm right. Oh, he only got one zig, though. Ooh. Yeah, say so, he doesn't want a town portal just yet. Oh, he's not gonna be able to finish the Great Hall, but he's gonna lose his Black Citadel, maybe. Even through this, let's see how much damage is Sweet going to take. Oh, nice healing wave, keeping it alive. He wants this Black Citadel for sure. He does have a town portal. Uh, oh, he's not gonna get it. Oh man, that was close. Not too bad there for Say So, barely keeping it alive and sweet. I think he lost quite a bit. Yeah, he did. 35 food. No gold income from the expansion. He took quite Ooh. a punch. That was definitely very good for Say So. Um, that Zapper though, I think that was a misclick. If if Sweet would have put the Zapper where the Acolytes were paying right now, he could have damaged both the Ziggs and the Black Citadel with one Zapper. Yeah, I did see that. Usually they get two Ziggs. Um, yeah. The price of one Zapper. But Blade Master trying to hack his way back into this, though. Not even going to find the statue. Do have round two coming in, though, here for Sweet. Town Portal on Blade. And he wants the weak Black Citadel. TP already, though, for Say So. He's not messing around. Say so, not risking his tier three. It's gonna get at least one raider before Sweet can TP out. Yeah, nice hex there for the DK, unable to toss a coil there. TP versus TP though, over the long run, is gonna work out better for Sweet. He's got two bases. He can keep affording these TPs. Say so is just blowing money every time he uses one. He's, he's, that's what Sweet's got to do. He's got to, I mean, he's got the gold mine, so he has to abuse that power, right? I call it Raider Lame because I'm an undead. I don't know the official name of this build or strategy, but the, it's, the point of it is not to take a head-on fight. It's actually to slowly drain away at the undead's resources. And right now, that is exactly what Sweet is trying to do. Let's see. Oh, does Sweet, is he going to go Sapper again? I don't think he has enough wood. He's got a speed score ready for SH. Do you know how much wood it costs? I actually don't. We don't really use zappers. <laughs> he does have a zapper here. Oh, it's getting slow, though. Oh, God. Use the speed scroll. Use the speed... Oh, I guess he doesn't need it. Get another another zig down. DK and army. Oh, the army split a little bit? No, it's ghouls. Okay. Should be okay. He's going to lose a couple of raider. Just one raider, maybe? Oh, he might even be get, a get away with the speed scroll. Blade Master, though, in trouble. Going to have to use his potion. And he will oh. lose at least one raider. DK and Lich both have mana. Can they get another? Oh, can the Nova get off? No, it can't. That one raider sacrificing himself for his master. He did have the potion, though, so... If need be, could have used it. Got a ghoul run by. Sweet's got to <laughs> go back in. I wonder, is there a sapper? Can he buy another one? Seiso can't rebuild his lost acolytes. He's supply cap. That's true. He's going for the it's altar. Even less gold. 
He's going for the burrow, but with the reinforced upgrade, these burrows are so much more tanky. It's we trying to do something here. Wax it will back at full HP, and there's a TP again. Seiso respecting it. He's unable to get too much damage here on the expansion. He only got one peon, two peons? Mm, yeah. And a burrow, I guess. Not too concerning, though. I'm surprised Sweet's using these TPs. Speed scrolls are so cheap. A player's forces are under attack. At this point, with the Lich DK combo nuke, most likely would lose a raider even if he does speed scroll. At the same time, though, Seiso has like little to no economy. He is really wrecked on gold, and that's the whole point of this strategy. Sweet's just gonna keep doing this over and over until the undead rage quits. Or it goes for an all-in, I guess. And he has to invest in another TP. And sweet, going again. Oh, a sapper again, too. Here we go. Jesus, this is sapper number three. <laughs> Ghouls are here, though. Let's see if uh, Seiso can respond not fast enough. Oh, uh, he's, he's not paying attention. And there's the nice sapper position you wanted. There you go. Didn't get the Black Citadel, though. Okay, maybe I was wrong. I could have sworn you could get all three. You probably can if you do it just right here. Sweet. Forcing another town portal. Oh, Shadow Hunter out a little bit. He slowed still. We could be able to get away though. You know what made that trade even better? Speed scroll, 50 gold. Town portal, 350 gold. Like it's it's basically a game of math. That's what the Raider lame strategy is. is a game of math. <laughs> Tough situation here for Seiso now. He just wants to fight, but sweet not allowing. The main gold mine's gotta be getting pretty low, right? 3k left in Seiso's, 2k left in Sweet. Sweet's mined an extra thousand gold just from these harassments. Yeah, and with these towers up now, it's, it's so difficult for for Seiso. He takes a lot of damage when he goes for the uh, Sweet mask. knows he has map control, and he's taking full advantage of that, going for the red. Gonna get a nice item here for the gold. Mm, trying to think. Uh, War Song Battle Drums would be nice. Cloak of Flames. Eh. A player's forces are under attack. He's gonna sell it. I don't know. Right, Sweet's an FFA player. He gets use out of every item. The Invul potion for his blade. And let's see if we're gonna have a fight here. Pit Lord? Reading the charge, Blade Master for Sweet could have spotted it. And he did go the right way with his units. He's going for the big golem again. Uh, if he can get both red camps, what, like, is Seiso really trying to expand? Looks like it. It's gonna take forever. Yeah, that will take a while. He's gotta shake something up though, I think. He's, he's giving sweet map control right now. And see what happens? He takes both the red camps. Like, you can't let your opponent have both the reds. It is a Cloak oh, of that's... Flames, though. Cloak of Flames does not stack. It'd be funny if he kept on the Shadow Hunter, though. I mean, look how cool that troll looks. He's got to sell it. He's got to sell it. Yeah. He actually <laughs> sold his blade, too. He's going to sell both? Nope, just pass it. So we should know about this expo, right? He did attack that statue when Seiso's heading over here. He might have saw the blight. And maybe if if he if he did, well he's gotta see it now with his blade. I mean why else would Seiso be going over there? Sweet knew it was crap. Let's see he? If, is Sweet ready for this though? He's at seventy food. He's gonna hit the go button, at least on the base. He's doing a multi-prong push here. Say so, trying to shoot away the blade. The army runs in, and as soon as the army goes away, the blade goes back in. <laughs> Interesting. He actually went for a two defensive upgrade here for his units, and I think sweet. I think he wants to fight this, perhaps. Maybe not. Still gonna respect it. I think he will though. He's gonna turn here. He's got 70 food to the 48 here. 
first uh, first fiend gonna fall here. Boyd Master, he's got one for the right click, say so, doing it again. An early potion, or uh, invo potion, though. And a, another crit fiend gonna fall here. Things looking good here for Sweet. Things are looking really good for Sweet indeed. Looks like this fiend should be going down in the end. Another Halter coming in from the beast, uh, the pit lord. <laughs> Going and for the DK here, Hex, Blade Master getting some nice right clicks. D uh, Blade does need to be careful though. DK's got a potion and a lot of slow coming through. How much more mana for Lich? No more big Nova's coming through. Let's see though. Sweet gonna try to re engage. Does he have a coil? He does. Pitlord needs it, needs it. Not in time. Pitlord's gonna it fall. It must have been on cooldown. Must it have had been. been on cooldown. Now but Sweet definitely in the driver's seat here. Sweet playing it smart though. He does not want to overcommit in the undead base. I don't care how far ahead you think you are. Don't fight in an undead base. He's trying to keep say so out on the edges here, away from all the frost towers. He does have the expansion up here. Say so does, but no uh, acolytes. Mining. Ah, uh, say so. He lost his altar. He's getting it back now, so that pit word's going to be gone for quite some time. Yeah, interesting that Sweet does that. It's one of the first targets that he likes to go for. It really does punish Ooh. the undead. Kodo almost got picked off there. Looks like he'll be able that to survive for another day, though. That Kodo's life flashed before his eyes. Oh, no, never mind. It died. Kodo for Fiends. Now, Sweet turns his attention to the expansion. He's br even bringing in a couple of peons here, and he's going to start towering. Say so needs a miracle here. I mean, look at the supply alone. It's 74 supply versus 43. Like, he needs to rely on these undead nukes. Even making a burrow down at the Merc camp. Maybe he'll get his uh, Mauler. <laughs> he's even building a voodoo lounge. Sweet is preparing for this fight. I'm gonna say so. Try to respond though. Let's see if he can do this. He just wants to get decent positioning on his blight. No town portal though. This is risky always moving in here. And Boyd Master sees that opportunity going straight for the statue. Say so going for the tower. But gonna lose a couple units and responds and not the greatest trade here. And yeah, gets a cancel on one tower. Loses a fiend, like you said. Actually gets a cancel on two, but now the Death Knight gets snared. AC surrounded. No, there is a crack. He's going to go for the Hex. Blade Master repositioning one walk, and he's going to be able to destroy this DK. Level 5 Blade, and I'm afraid to say so. This is going to be sending him down to the lower bracket here. Sweet looks to take this one. 74 food still, and it's just the Lich. Couple of Fiends. Banshee and Statue left to defend this. Sweet at 5-5 five, five heroes. Just a level 3 Lich and two Fiends. I don't see a way say so can hold this. Wade Master still has some really nice emergency items here. DK won't be back anytime soon. Let's say so still Shadow trying Hunter. to fight this out. Shadow Hunter with one more heal wave left. Taking a while here. S say so really does not want to lose this, but I'm sorry, bro. It's done. Our Pit Lord drones the fray here, and he's gonna get a howl off, and now it's his turn to fall. Void Master could use his info. He actually used both his uh, items here. Gonna clean up the Pit Lord here. Not enough mana for the Lich Nuke, and he's gonna call the GG. Sweet gonna take it 2 1, and he'll be playing Sword Puppy still in the upper bracket here. And we do have uh, another match going on right now. Let's try to catch up on that one. That was a pretty good series, and better yet, that was the first series of the day. That means it only gets better from here, right? <laughs> him in a nice oh critical God. strike and he's getting low and a nice block though dk is in some trouble oh no there's oh no God. speed score. oh he does have speed score here we go let's see he's gonna get the he DK. needs he needs to get in the range of the shop or something oh boy master getting very low he doesn't have a town portal uh shadow hunter's got about two hexes oh he missed oh, the this click <laughs> he's gonna lose his black citadel maybe even through this, let's see how much damage is Sweet going to take. Oh, nice healing wave, keeping it alive. He wants this Black Citadel for sure. He does have a Town Portal. Uh, oh, he's not going to get it. 
three. <laughs> Ghouls are here though. Let's see if uh, Seso can respawn not fast enough. Oh, he's, he's not paying attention. And there's the nice Come. sapper position you wanted. There you go. Didn't get the Black Citadel though. Said so actually gets a cancel on two, but now the Death Knight gets snared. Is he surrounded? No, there's a crack. He's gonna go for the Hex Blade Master repositioning Windwalk, and he's gonna be able to destroy this DK. Level five blade, and I'm 